Welcome to the NCAA Women's College World Series presented by Capital One. That's in the left field. That should get at least one run in. And Perez Chica is there to reel it in. The pinch runner will score. Romano makes it 1 0 thanks to the sacrifice fly from Simon. And the Beavers strike first. Tonight is Arizona's 100th game at the Women's College World Series. It is Oregon State's fourth. Carroll punches one to right field. That will fall in. And it will get by Gottlieb. Here comes the runner, Berenger, around third. All the way to score. Oregon State's outfield follies rear their head in another big spot, and Arizona has tied it. And Arizona is getting production out of the eight spot from Sophia Carroll. She had a big hit last night that started a rally for them against Oklahoma State and gets this one to fall and go in between both of the outfielders and that extra distance once Gottlieb laid out for that ball that it got behind her gave Behringer enough time to score all the way from first base and coach Candre is sending her from his seat she <laughs> knew or he knew that she was going to score that is way high for Paris Chica throw to third Carroll is out The pitch was so bad it was brilliant. Bounce right back to Rivera, who cut down Carroll at third. Yeah, she's smiling about that play and going to make Oregon State feel a little bit more at ease about their defense. Got the bounce, the perfect throw, the tag by Mesper. Sophia Carroll has had a hard. Good with cut. <laughs> Gottlieb into right field and a diving play by Paige Dimmler. She is showing off defensively in this World Series. With the outfielders of Arizona, Paige Dimler got a great jump laid out for that ball, and you know she is pumped up to see that go on her glove, hold on to it, hit the ground. Simon sends one to center field, well struck, and Mayonio will reel it in. Not quite in Mia Davidson robbing territory, but another good play by Mayonio with her back to the wall. And Simon has seen the ball well off the nets. A couple of deep fly balls for her. She had that RBI set fly in her first at bat and sends this one to the wall. But of course, the Arizona outfielders covering so much ground. Mayonio goes back, finds the wall. We're better with her at the plate and in the circle. Allow fewer runs, fewer hits, fewer walks. She could feel her position a little bit, too. Well, remember, too, she was out for a good chunk of time with an injury, and Sarah Hendigas took over and... It's induced 11 swings and misses so far. Mariah Maison. 23% swing and miss rate, but not a lot of hard contact. This is a one-hopper to short. Rotley with a great pick and maybe just as good a pick from Hamoudi at the other end. Backhand short hop for both Watley at shortstop and Hamoudi at first base to be able to help out her shortstop. Everything has changed since that selection Sunday. 2 2. Scooping into center field. Gottlieb got a good jump, but it still eludes her glove. Tobin, the pitch runner, is waved around third by Lauren Lappin. And Tobin will slide in. Arizona takes the lead. An RBI double from Carly Scoopin, and it's 2-1 Caps. No, it, it just is how much moisture there is at night. In the right field, Baron Joe, that's a fair ball. Quincyanopolis coming home, and Oregon State may not have realized it on the throw in from Nelson the second. Plays Behringer, the Ole Miss transfer. Dunks it an RBI single, and the Wildcats had two to extend their lead in the sixth. Owens 2-2. Two -two. 
Rivera the third caught by Pacho. And Simon wasn't going anywhere. Oregon State is down to its final out of 2022. Good swing by Rivera just didn't have any luck. Hit it backhand of Pacho down the line. They do whatever it takes to get that new glove, get that second out. Escobar 0 for 3 tonight. That's in the left field. That is caught by a sliding Perez Chica. An appropriate way to end it. Arizona shines defensively, shines in the circle, and gets just enough done at the plate to advance to Sunday. The unseeded Wildcats continue their magical postseason run.